everyone. My name is Elise Lewis. I am a UX researcher with the University of South Florida, an amateur bodybuilder, and I also am competing in the Miss Black USA 2020 pageant as Miss Black Florida. Part of my platform within that pageant focuses on teaching others to elevate themselves and those around them. That focuses heavily on health and wellness, but also on education. That means early childhood literacy. So instead of reading in person with kids in a classroom of maybe 20 people or so at most, I'm gonna to read to kids all around the world online. Some of my old books from the 90s and early 2000s before I donate them to my local library. This is a book of silly people rhymes. So let's begin. Silly people rhymes. Cover illustration by John Goodall. Additional illustrations by Krista Brockman Towns, Jane Chambles Wright, Drew Brooke Cormac Associates, Kate Sturman Gorman, Judith Dufour Love, Bin Mahan, Anastasia Mitchell, Anita Nelson, and Rosario Balderrama. Handy Pandy. Handy Pandy, Jack and Dandy, loves plum cake and sugar candy. He bought some at a grocery shop and out he came. Hop, hop, hop. Take a look at that. Solomon Grundy. Solomon Grundy, born on Monday, christened on Tuesday, married on Wednesday, took ill on Thursday, worse on Friday, died on Saturday, buried on Sunday. This is the end of Solomon Grundy. The house that Jack built. This is the farmer sowing his corn, that kept the rooster that crowned, crowed in the morn, that walked the priests all shaven and shorn, that married the man all tattered and torn, that kissed the maiden all forlorn, that milked the cow with the crumpled horn, that tossed the dog, that worried the cat, that killed the rat, that ate the malt, that lay in the house that Jack built. And look at all that's happening in that scene. The old woman. The old woman stands at the tub, tub, tub. The dirty clothes to rub, rub, rub. But when they are clean and fit to be seen, she'll dress like a lady and dance on the green. Peter White and the Piper Son, two stories in one. Peter White will ne'er go right. And would you know the reason why? He follows his nose wherever he goes and all that stands awry. The Piper's Son. Tom, Tom, the Piper's Son, stole a pig and away he run. The pig thought it was quite a treat to be carried down the street. Nothing at all. What's happening here? There was an old woman called Nothing at All who lived in a dwelling exceedingly small. A man stretched his mouth to the utmost extent and down in one gulp, gulp an old woman went. So the old woman here is this gingerbread lady. Rub a dub dub. Rub a dub dub. Three men in a tub. And how do you think they got there? The butcher, the baker, the candlestick maker? They all jumped out of a rotten potato. Twas enough to make a man stare. Mary, Mary. Mary, Mary, quite contrary. How does your garden grow? With silver bells and cockle shells and pretty maids all in a row. Lucy Lockett. 
Lucy Lockett lost her pocket. Kitty Fisher found it. Not a penny was there in it, only a ribbon round it. And you can see the ribbon there. That's the end of this book. There were eight altogether. They are the Mother Goose Rainbow Books. There's Feathered Friends, I Love You Rhymes, Kitten Yarns, Little Boys and Girls, Old McDonald's Farms, Puppy Tales, Silly People Rhymes, and Yummy Rhymes. Kids, I want you to think about, what was your favorite character in the story? Did you like the baker in Rubber Dub Dub? Maybe you really like Jack in the house that Jack built. Or is this a bonus story? Gregory Griggs. Gregory Griggs. Gregory Griggs had 27 different wigs. He wore them up. He wore them down to please people of the town. He wore them east. He wore them west. Never could tell which one he liked best. Is this your new favorite character, kids? Maybe you like him with the curly red wig. If so, take a second. Draw your favorite character from the story in a picture on a big piece of paper with your favorite crayon or pencil. And then try to draw pictures, or try to write out rather, the names of the different colors that you see in that scene. If you draw the old woman in the purple dress, write the word purple next to her dress. If you write her, if you draw her with the yellow scarf, write yellow next to her scarf. Try to spell it correctly, pronounce it correctly. So yellow, Y-E-L-L-O-W. Purple, P-U-R-P-L-E. Practice, practice, practice. You will improve. For the parents out there, if you're looking for early education providers, check out elcpanelis.org. Again, that's elcpanelis.org. You'll find some great information there and resources. Now, remember, keep reading, keep learning. This is the best way to prepare yourself for a future in which you enjoy all that life can offer you and so that you are successful. That's for kids and parents. For now, goodbye.